This polynomial has the appearance of a perfect squared trinomial. A perfect squared trinomial would be something that when you take the square root, you get the same factor twice. Like for instance, if I factor something and I get x plus y all squared, that means that the original thing was a perfect square trinomial. So let's work it in the other direction for a second. If we had x plus y squared, that's the same as x plus y times x plus y. And when we FOIL it, first times first is x squared, outer times outer is xy, inner times inner is xy, and last times last is y squared. Combine the two middle parts and you get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And things that have this appearance can be perfect square trinomials. And so if you can kind of see, there's a similarity between them. And the similarity consists of three very specific things we can name. For perfect square trinomials, the first term has to be a perfect square, which we see right here. The middle term, this, the third term has to also be a perfect square. And the middle term is equal to two times each of those square roots. So when you suspect that a polynomial is a perfect square, a trinomial, um, you can run the perfect square test like this. You say to yourself, well, is the first term a perfect square? And you test it out by taking the square root and writing it down. So the square root of 4a squared is 2a. Is the third term a perfect square? And you test it out by taking the square root. The square root of 25b squared is 5b. And is the middle term equal to 2 times each of those things? So 2 times 2a times 5b is 20ab. And that's exactly what we have there. So this passed the perfect square test with this, this, and this. And therefore, it's going to factor to each of those things that we had when we took the square roots. It's going to factor to 2a plus 5b all squared. And the only difference would be if we had a minus sign right here, then you would end up with a minus sign right there. But everything else would be the same. So this factor to 2a plus 5b all squared, and that's why 2a plus 5b is one of the factors. And the other factor is the other 2a plus 5b.